Thank you. Can can you win the marathon? <laughs> well, I I have zero points. I have yet to play a game in this tournament. The leader has almost eight hundred points. So, uh, not sure if even a a large miracle will save me. But maybe I can join and not finish in last place. I think that's the goal. So, yeah, for those unaware, uh, this is one of the seasonal marathon tournaments. This is a 2023 autumn marathon. I usually try and play like at least several hours of, of these tournaments. But it's been a year. Wow, time wow. really is a fickle thing. It is. Yeah, the last 23 hours have pretty much flown by. There's an hour and eight minutes left of this tournament. Thank you. So I think I'll just hop in. I might be playing like very low rated players. So I'm going to try and speed run the marathon. And maybe I can finish in like the top 10,000, top 5,000 with just an hour left. I think we'll see. If I play much lower rated players, I'll probably berserk and just try and win quickly. So, yeah, this will be interesting. Like, for a lot of previous marathon tournaments I've played, they've been, like, 10-plus-hour streams. I do have a playlist on YouTube. If this goes on YouTube, I'll link the previous marathons below. But this will be a shorter marathon video than usual. And let's start with a Budapest Gambit, how about... Now, the time control is 3 plus 2, and when I berserk, I do give up the increment. So I have to be very mindful of my, my time situation. But have some nice development. Uh, I guess I'll take, and queen takes knight d4. And some initiative. Yeah, we're trading. Some castle. It's a solid position for both of us. One plan after I castle is to play f5, try and open up some lines. Yeah, bishop e2, I think, was a smart move. Because if takes rook e1, or rook e8 doesn't do much, although I still want to play that. I have to rely on, on intuition and moving quickly. You got the other rook to e8. And black's probably slightly for choice here. It's, uh, you got the queen to the king side. Queen d5, I'll play bishop e6. I definitely don't want to trade queens with this time situation. I'd really like to attack. Yeah, my knight defends a pawn. B4, maybe I have to play this. Maybe this. Yeah, I'm realizing the d3 square is nice for the knight. Supported by my queen bishop battery. I mean, I still don't want to trade queens, but do I have to? Maybe it's not a bad thing. Take in c6. Mm. Oh, my pawn. White's playing well. I'm getting outplayed here. Thank you, Azule. We are so back. Okay, I really gotta focus. I don't want to lose the first game. Check. Bishop d3. Okay, let's play this. Hitting the pawn, but also sneakily threatening the fork. Hopefully we see a4. Probably we'll see a better move, yeah. Not even winning. Yeah, I lose back the pawn. Mm, let's play this move. Things are getting interesting. A little bit spicy. So I take the pawn and defend. Good thing I made Luft from earlier. Got the p. 
10. Probably B5. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That's not good. I hung a rook. I didn't even sacrifice a rook. I just hung a rook. Uh oh. Yeah. What to do? Please get forked. Yes, okay. I might have a chance, but I I don't have increments, so it's gonna be tough. Where's my knight wanna go? How do I orchestrate the checkmate? <laughs> oh, what a sad start. What a very sad start. Oh no, my rating. I'm still tied for last. Okay, it's the first first game gambit. I get rewarded with a slightly lower rated opponent. Okay, let's play the nozzle boss. I didn't know um I don't think I've ever seen a rating this low. And that's not meant as an insult, it's just I'm surprised that, uh, yeah, I mean, on chess.com, I've seen like players rated in the 200s. Do I bedazzle my opponent with en passant? I guess I do. <laughs> opponent bedazzled. Oh, my opponent's 1,200, oh, 1,200 provisional in, in bullets. Okay. No mercy here. So there's three legal moves. Uh, I mean, the dream, how do I want to do this? The dream is to get a knight here. Hi, I am person. Hello, person. I'm also a person. Okay. The other dream is to get the knight here and make this pawn go away. I mean, I did have c7 trapping the queen, but I'm I'm just trying to checkmate as quickly as possible. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so threatening maiden one. Opponent did gift me the rook. <laughs> okay. That was a funny game. All right, on the scoreboard, not tied for last place, playing Stone Killer. Yeah, I definitely have to be very careful with Berserking. Also, welcome back to Pablo. Good to see you. All right, we'll play one of these tricky lines. Bishop c4, 92. Interesting. Yeah, basically transposing into an open Sicilian. Black has lost a couple tempi moving the knight. It's true that my bishop's not the happiest on c4, but it's nice having the lead in development. Okay, it's time to go super aggro. I want to play bishop h6 next. Some ideas of maybe eventually knight f6. Another en passant. Oh my gosh. Oops, there goes my queen. 
Oh, I'm so sad. What is my bishop move? How does a bishop move? I play bishop c1 because it's only square where it can't be taken. At least I have this move. This is going to be hard to come back from. This. Yeah, that doesn't even work. I don't think I have any tricks here, even. Maybe this. It's a very painful situation. Check. Okay. If I can avoid getting mated, that's a good first step. Some possible back rank ideas, some bishop x ray vision. Okay, 95 is coming, or 94 is coming. Okay, good move. Okay, this is a wake up call. I mean, I'm down a queen and a knight. The opponent is just sacking to expose my king. Not much I can do here. I, I can just pray that I get some back rank mate at some point, but probably not happening. I think it's time. Oh, maybe not time to resign. Time to get mated. Okay. Okay. Not my proudest few games, but I did win that that one brilliant game in the the second round against the four twenty three. Oh no, my top thirteen thousand six hundred and thirteen. Make that thirteen thousand six hundred and fourteen. I think if I win another game, I break into the top ten thousand. Hey, okay. All right, let's see if I can uh, I can win a game here. Welcome back to Chess Weeb. If we see a fried liver, I'll play the Traxler. Here I play a center fork trick. So after knight takes, I'm pretty sure queen g5. Queen g5 or queen d5? This looks pretty good. Hitting the knight and the pawn. So if takes, I take. And here and then here or here. Or even here. Yeah, nearly trapping the queen. Yeah, I believe the pairings do um are are determined by the score grueling two weeks abroad pretty sure ending out a series of impressive classical <laughs> games at a high level tournament to earn 25 yeah. points only to lose 30 points of yellow on Lee chess in 15 minutes and be in 13614th place haha <laughs> ha. it's the story of my life at least it makes for an interesting story I'm realizing that I'm threatening Force Maiden 3 with this, this, and take whatever the knight does. Oh, but I hung a bishop. Why Why am I missing um, knight moves? <laughs> okay. Forgot knights can move backwards. Last game, I forgot knights can move forwards.
I feel like my brain is not fully, fully functioning, maybe not fully awake. Rook e5 is a safer prey move. If knight e7, then yeah, I take. Okay. Okay. So I, I can only beat players under a thousand so far. Let's see if I can get on the streak. 53 minutes left. It's going to take a few more wins to get into the top 10,000. Holy smokes. It's been 31 months. All right, we have a fun opening. Let me let me actually focus this game. Let me make sure that I'm not plundering simple things. I'm allowing bishop g6, but I think that's okay. Targeting g3. Play rook h6. Okay, so this g-pawn is now a goner. Unless g4 is played, but I have this move? Maybe it's not a goner. King e2. And this does look very pleasant, but... Yeah, maybe I'm not winning material. I didn't want to take and open the h-file. Only want to take once I can get my rook to h8, or other rook to h8. And then f1 is coming. I think that's okay. Queen supports the bishop. Did you Weaver's Twitch? A Weaver's Twitch? Did you donate twice? Or no, that was just that was just one dollar. But thanks for that. <laughs> MJZ man as well. Something is weird with my alerts. It's showing all my notifications a couple times. I guess some deja vu. Okay, let's uh let me try and stay focused. King wants to come back. Rook's defended, so there's no funny business with uh, discoveries. Okay, knight is pinned and attacked four times. Only defended twice. If knight of three, I'd probably play g4. Okay, preparing rook e3, which I guess is trapping the queen. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll have enough time to win this one. Assuming I don't blunder my queen. <laughs> There's a funny line to sack on h3 and then check, check, mate. Um, it still works, I guess. But mate will be on h1. Okay. That was nice. On the streak. Two in a row. Let's go. Top 10,000. Also, let's go. Next goal is top 9,000. 49 minutes and some change. Playing Zudia. Play e4. Yeah, a few minutes ago I was tied for last place. Trying to move up in the world. 
So we have a, um, I guess I'll, I'll stick with the closed Sicilian. It's tempting to play d4, but a solid opening for, especially for fast chess. I'll go for the gradual expansion, like g4, bring the knight in. Opponent is flexing their increment, having more time than they started with. Okay, I want to play this and this probably. Flex my pawns. I'm trying to win this pawn. F6 or G6 maybe first. Yeah, take it with a pawn to open the file. This also gives me that five square for the knight. Yeah, so I defend the knight, preparing this. We'll probably see rook f8 or that move. Kind of like the idea of taking. Objectively, it's probably not the best. But I'm getting a lot of flow. The bishop here and here may be coming. At the start of a tournament, is everyone tied for last place or for first place? It's a great question that maybe people can debate. All right, so the plan is this and this. Now black has to be very careful. King b8 was a good move. Hi Eric, you're doing good. Keep going. Thanks for that. I'll try. Thank you for can. I drew against a 2,100 rated player yesterday. Ooh. Played out an end game to stalemate on a1 with black Ooh. pawn on a2, black king on a3. I'm very proud of you. Okay, so rook takes g7 looks like a nice tactic, but I would then have rook b7 to win the queen. Let's take here first. Okay. A promotion incoming. Okay. All right, almost top 8,000. Yeah, good job, Volkanovski Chess. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just berserk all the games. Like, I'm really just trying to finish as highly as possible. Having some more aggressive chess, especially compared to what I've played in guitar. And my classical chess was a bit more solid than what's happening here. Although this line is actually a solid approach against, um, I guess, an attempted Danish gambit. I'll play an IQP position. So castling would be a big mistake because I take and then take the bishop. Bishop e3, maybe I can play this. Mm. Yeah, I didn't want to trade and allow pawns to come to the center. Maybe some idea of bishop d3. I also probably just want to complete development. I'll play c5 first. I'm trying to destabilize these things.
Oh, welcome to all the first timers. Yeah, if you're new here, um, I'm playing a 24 hour marathon tournament, but I joined late. <laughs> I'm playing basically the final hour. So compared to other streams, there's not as much time for like so much chat interaction, but I do appreciate people tuning in. I will still try and be somewhat instructive with these games. I think here it's okay to give away the B7 pawn, so I can take winning a lot of material for losing this rook. Also winning this rook. Also maybe mating very soon. How do you get that GM icon? I wish I knew. I don't have the GM icon, unfortunately. Requires getting the, the Grandmaster title, which requires playing in in strong over the board tournaments and doing consistently very well. Okay, playing Daniel Doran. Hey, sixty seven, sixty seven. I feel like this is a number that you combine. It's, it's the number you get when you combine a very lucky number with a very unlucky number. If that makes any sense. Oh, how you get the GM icon in um, in Twitch chat. You need to subscribe for an extended period of, of months. Like Axe or Typo rocking the GM badge. I'm losing a pawn. I'm losing a pawn here. Oops. Yeah, that was a little bit careless. Every pawn lost is a file opened. Hitting B2. A tricky move, defending and attacking. Okay. Trying to get some counterplay. Hitting the bishop. Assuming bishop b3. Or even bishop e4. I'll play rook c8. So threatening this, which is a triple fork. Arguably quadruple fork. Okay. Or that was, um, yeah, that would have been a pork actually. Quadruple pork. It's pin plus fork. Instructive chess with Eric. Oh, yes. Happy 41 months to Sandswall. So queen e2, what am I doing? So I just have to get this rook involved. Like rook e8 and e4 is the plan. If h5, I move back. If a3, maybe I still play e4. Allowing white to take either way. If pawn takes h6, I don't take back. I basically use the the pawn as a shield for my king. Now the g-files open. Maybe someday a, a rook can come to g8. Yeah, it's not clear how white should deal with this tension. A lot of the things are being targeted. It's actually an interesting approach. I'll take... So takes, I take, the queen's attack twice. The queen also, like, in some cases has to stay defending the rook and pawn. Now I can take here. Yeah, tactics are flowing now. So after takes, I take and the queen will be pinned.
How good would you say you are at chess on a scale of one to 10? Um, 67, 67. <laughs> the number is soon to change. Pin for the win. Oh, yes. Soon to be checkmate for the win. Ah, not quite G5 checkmate, though. Okay. All right, 5805. So, on a better streak now. That's five in a row after a somewhat rocky start. Okay. I'm sticking with an E4 repertoire. Trying to be aggressive. Although I, I kind of want to play this opening I learned right before my final game in guitar. This four knight scotch. This bishop d2 line. Very sneaky move. Wait, how does this go? Take... Okay, so black has like the worst pawn structure ever. But it is equal materials, so I guess I have to prove something here. Activate the rook. Trying to make sense of what's going on here. If rook d8, I play bishop f5, I think. And then neither rook can be taken. There's bishop c8 in that line. Um, yeah, let's make Luft. Some idea to push the pawn all the way. I could have taken this. But black's under a lot of pressure here. I'll play bishop f5. Yeah, so now hitting this rook and this pawn. And this pawn. Okay. That was pleasant. Played a... Actually played a very solid opening, but... Um, <laughs> led to a very pleasant endgame. Top 5,000. Let's go. Opponent did make the, the job of checkmating a, a bit easier for me. We broke g8 there. Okay, playing Apocalypse. Uh, let's Berserk. So Berserking has been paying off the last several games. Maybe some d4 idea. A lot of tension here. A lot of tension, all different directions. This pawn is kind of hanging, but so is a knight. I like queenside casting because it escapes the pin. Maybe she don't know what to do here. F five. Five is interesting. White can choose to take different things. Threatening to trap the knight. Realizing d3 is a candidate move in some lines. If we see h4, I think I play bishop c5. More solid square for the bishop.
Or wait, no, H4, I have D3, bishop C5, take, and then take. So there's bishop E3 to defend. I think I could have just played h4 there to trap the knight. But I like my bishop here, because now I'm threatening this, and the knight's still trapped. And if I can take on g3, then, yeah, there's a lot of fun. Now. Oh no, you're a baby. So I'm giving back the thing. But if takes, I take, and I could win the queen... Or I could go for checkmates. Take, take. I mean, I can't resist. Oh no, my queen. Not sure if this works, but it looks like too much fun. Like my bishop's hanging, my rook's hanging, but the queen is hanging. I currently have two knights and two pawns for the queen. So even if I lose back a little bit of material, I should be up in the end. Oh, welcome back to Pam. Happy 38. And there's no way for white to defend the pawn because my, my giga pawns on the third rank control the second rank. And now it's a windmill. But it's also just mate next move. Okay. <laughs> that was a cool game. That was some fun uh, tactical rampage there. I think this is the highest rated player I've played so far in this tournament. Play F4. I was preparing this opening for one of my opponents in Qatar. But did not end up encountering the French. Pretty sure Carlson had this position once. And maybe against Grishuk. Hikaru played this line once, US champs, against Yasser Sarawan. There's cases where Black will play d4. And the goal here is to take and then probably play d4. Or just keep the tension. Looking to play g4. I did allow takes. Okay, this is getting very weird. Like, very weird. Because if takes, I take here. <laughs> and I lose my queen, but then it gets reborn instantly. Although my knight's hanging. So I queen h4, I guess. Trying to trap the bishop. Maybe preparing this. If black makes a new queen... Actually, no. If takes, I'd probably have to take... But at least we'll be trading. Look at my look at my pawns. I have to take that. I could play queen g7 first. Don't think it makes a difference. A funny position. So this is a one potential plan. I like having included this, because now the bishop's tied down. So it kind of takes black an extra move to figure things out. And this move also has a plan of this, and then knight d6. There's a funny line, bishop d7, take, and then queenside castle. It is annoyingly legal. And then rook fb1. Trying to digest this position, but I'm having digestive issues. I 
What if I just take and check? It doesn't really lead to much. I mean, bishop here, I could just take on h7, castle, and then take the rook. Wow. Fancy. Okay, now I think I do this. Because now I'm guaranteed knight d6, and then it basically means I'm guaranteed to win the rook. Queen can't really defend in time. That was a funny game. Oh, wait. Rook gets defended, though. That's not over. I'm winning the pawn and maybe the other pawn. Yeah, I thought I was winning the rook. I forgot knight e7 just defends. I'm losing this pawn, but okay, I probably want the d-file to open. Maybe I just play d4 if I have the chance. That's still a difficult position for black, threatening this. My opponent does have the increment, but that's not going to help. Rook d it's a good try. Oops! I hung a rook. Oh no. I'm pulling this queen d3. Still have good chances. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that was close. Gained a rating point. A point away from breaking back into the 2600. Top 4,000. My berserking streak continues. That was very close. That was a cool game. Okay, playing a even higher rated opponent. No Stafford. I'm um, go for some maybe aggressive setup. Feels weird to castle queenside and and play a five. Maybe I just take some queen d three move. Go into some queenless middle game. Those box pieces should be better. Thank you, Adam C. Morgan and Lane Till Eric. Appreciate the prime subs. Yeah, it's looking pretty good here. I can't celebrate too early. Opponent taking their time. Hmm. I think the plan behind this move is to simply double up, pressure the knight. Bishop a3. Because take, 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 take knight g8. Wow. That's a funny line. So if white counterattacks, it doesn't quite happen though. I think I'd go for this. So if takes, I'd 
have this move, maybe this move. I have to calculate on my opponent's time. And position is getting spicy. Knight b3 is a move. Knight b3, bishop c4. I just want to recapture the pawn. Bishop f4, okay, let's play, play this. Take, take. Uh, it's not going to be easy. It's not good.
Ah, uh, it's so hard to pre move there. Good game, though. Oh. Uh... Uh, that was an interesting challenge, though, to try and win that. Just didn't have quite enough time there. Got really close. GG. There goes my streak. All right. Try and finish strong. Have to... Have to conserve a little bit more time. Thank you, Roynas. I'm playing the elephant trap. Not quite getting a Cambridge Springs. Yeah, this is old preparation. At least the position is very controlled. Conserving time. So I do have a plan now. Maybe putting the queen on h6. Or maybe, yeah, maybe just going for the mate on the h file. White's going for the positional minority attack. Trying to create a pawn weakness. But the pawn weakness is probably less significant than checkmate. I think white is realizing the danger now. And there is this maneuver, which... Just now... Yeah, now it's a bit more... Difficult. Maybe bishop g4 coming. Like white's definitely not going to make this easy for me. I'm thinking bishop d7, rook e8. Maybe this first to provoke f3. Maybe not. There's also this idea, but I want to put the rook here first, just so I'm discouraging f3. Yeah, so now bishop g4 could be a bigger threat. There's also this idea, rook here, here, here. I'll get both rooks to the each file. I am now the answer to hey, it's life, the universe, and everything. Happy forty-two months, Teotwaki. Rook e one. Yeah, what am I doing here? Let's play this. So if f three, I can take the pawn. The king's going to run. It's still so tricky. Welcome back, Eric. Congratulations again on your overall oh, performance thanks so much. on the hardest tournament of your life. Still planning on doing a fan mail stream or video in the future? Uh, very possibly. I still need to check my mailbox, I think. Some more things have been received. Okay, this is looking more promising now because if I can take on d4, it might lead to checkmate. Yeah, so this, this is actually a very common motif. Where I'm controlling e2 with a knight, so threatening mate. Pawn takes wouldn't help because the rook would still control e2. Okay. Gotta win. Back on track. Let's try and make this a streak. 
have about 12 more minutes. 12 minutes equates to what? Like three or four games? Welcome back to Cole. 39 months. Boom. I still keep up with everything. Oh, Much nice to hear. Less than three. Okay, Ponziani time. Haven't played the Ponziani yet this tournament. Um, yeah, we'll just develop first. Castle. F5, interesting. Yeah, I can't take too long here. It's very nice having the pawn center. The question is how to how to continue. Kind of slow playing this. Let's go for this, maybe e6 coming. Oops. Okay, let's have some fun. Oh no, my queen. It's probably objectively dubious, but... I mean, I don't want to force a draw. I'd rather play for a win. There we go. Take Okay, spicy position. I'm not taking the rook. I might have to at some point, but So here is d5. So I have two minor pieces for the queen. Good luck, Eric. My favorite chess streamer, heart, heart. Thank you, booty snatcher. You're my favorite snatcher. What is this move? Pong's just trying to confuse me. I guess I play this and just be solid. Leave the queen there. Oh, I, I got confused, but opponent didn't take here. Should still be safe. And it's a funny position. Not easy for black to do much. Plans to target the pawn. I could have taken the bishop. Oh, one of these again, with no increment, rely on the pre-moves. Oh man, 
Oh, I really misplayed it. Still chances. It's like the end of the movie to searching Bobby, searching for Bobby Fisher, right? The pawn race. <laughs> Opponent resigned, didn't even try to flag me. Okay. Somehow I salvaged that. Down the queen. The Ponziani is unbeatable. There is a proof. Okay. Playing Gandhi, man. Play a two knights attack. Or play, what am I doing? The one knight attack. It's actually called the wing gambit with b4. Yeah, so it's nice having the bishop here. If casting, I have the, the Greek gift. Yeah, very classic combination. So rook e8. Rook e8, I just check in mate. The knight would be pinned. Okay. Top 3,000. 50 tournament points. Hopefully can fit in two more games. It is possible my next game will be the last game that counts for the tournament. But it'd be nice to try and play aggressively here. Have not had any Stafford Gambits today. My first Stafford Gambit. Here we go. F3. Yeah, F3 is a move. Engine will give like plus two for white. I think this has to be played. Yeah, even though white's objectively better, like the position does get a bit tricky. If lines are opening up, white's a bit underdeveloped. Now the idea is to remove this pawn to get in queen h4 check. Like already, this might be not good for white, because how does white defend the g-pawn? So I also just want to take... If takes, I fork. Otherwise, knight f4 is coming. A knight f4 in g2 is a massive threat to trap the rook. Am I trapping the queen? King moves knight f4. And now queen f1, bishop h3. That's a funny line. I also have this move. Uh, both moves are winning. Let's play bishop h3. Not every day you see the queen get trapped in its own territory by the black minor pieces. I love the Stafford too, yeah. <laughs> okay, 12 move win. I mean, white played what should be a good line, this f3 move. But uh, it didn't follow through correctly. So we have one more game. I think the next game will be the last game. Hopefully it will count for the tournament. Oop. Okay. I now slipped. Okay, we have reverse. We have a one night attack because I lost a tempo against the Carol Khan. Please play this move. Yeah, usually the knight's here by now, but it's a little bit different. Okay, I'll go super aggro. Mm.
Yeah, queen a5, I have bishop d2. Oh no, my bishop. H5 is probably the best move. There's also this move. Could get very messy. I'll black played this well. I don't think I'm going to be winning this game next minute, but you never know. Still some initiative. Sacking all the things. Queen digs G2. Oh, okay. A lot of counters with sacking the queen. So I might win this game in the next 15 seconds. Okay. Got one more one more win to finish the tournament. <laughs> okay, final two seconds of the marathon. Ending in 2351. That's like close to my FIDE rating. Let's refresh. Good job to Rage Hunter, who maybe has won a marathon tournament before. Um, yeah, I finished with 60 points. The winner finished with 803, which is a huge number. Played for many more hours than me. Gray Sensei says Rage Hunter played for 15 hours. 379 games. I only played 17 games over the last hour or so. What is a unique trophy the top 500 get? Uh, I might be able to show. Yeah, um, this. If you finish top 500, you get this, like, um, this trophy. Top 100, it's blue. And then top 50, it's glowing. So I, I've had, like, a good number of top 50 finishes in marathon tournaments. Let's click on Rage Hunter's profile. Wow. Marathon winner. Marathon top 10, top 10. Man, Rage Hunter only finishes in top 10 in marathons. Such nice, nice display of trophies. Classical top 10. Has some shields too. Impressive. Life goals. Okay, that was fun. Um, I hope people enjoyed that. I know it's been a while since I had like a normal stream, especially from this habitat. Can you review the game where the opponent went wrong in the Stafford? Um, yeah, I'm actually curious about that game. It was the second to last game of the tournament for me. So... Yeah, for those that don't know, the Stafford Gambit is objectively not a good opening. <laughs> like, white has five different options after, after D takes C6 to be winning, according to the engine. My opponent played, like, a very fine approach. F3 is not the top move here. H3 is a bit more standard. So, 
Yeah, I played Knight H5, which the engine actually doesn't like. Engine just says I should castle. But I think Knight H5 is like the more difficult move for players to meet. Because the immediate threat is Queen H4. And as we saw in the game, F5 is uh, is av available for black. So G3 was played. Wow, most players play D3 in this position on chess and miss the threat of Queen H4. But G3 best move. F5. And Bishop D3. Wow, so Bishop D3 was just makes the position go from almost winning to almost losing. And then F4. At this point, it's just very difficult for white. Yeah, D3, I assume, is a... D3 is a playable move. F4 is hard to find. Well, F4 is findable. You have to see that you hit the knight. And then, yeah, the, the resulting line was pretty funny because queen g2 and then, man, the queen really got stuck. Teotwaki asking, when was the last time you gained 20 FIDE rating points in a single tournament? Yeah, I think it was 2015. I mean, I have not had a significant, significant rating gain in years, I don't think. In 2015, I had a few tournaments where I gained like over 20 points, I think. I think we can see. Yeah, according to chess results, I gained 19.7 points in Qatar. But the official rating lists are published at the beginning of every month. Can you show the Greek gift? Yeah, the Greek gift I had, which game? Also towards the end. This is actually a fun, fun game. This is a wing gambit against the French. Generally, the idea is if black takes, you play a3 and then take, take. And there's ideas of eventually getting the knight here. But what happened was also very pleasant. So yeah, in this position, this position has been reached over a thousand times. And the most played move is, I think, just a... Oh, maybe not a big blunder. Ah, because black can escape. I think this is still more fun to play for white, even though the engine says it's close to equal. So yeah, black should play king g6 here. After king h8, yeah, white's mating by force. Yeah, g6, queen h7. If here, I would check and then mate. Knight g8's not legal because it's pinned. But yeah, this is a case where after king g6, it's not winning for white. Apparently. Giraffe gestation subversary. Can you say hi to my kids, Nolan and Holly? Oh yeah. Um, hi to your kids. Hi to Nolan. Hi to Holly. Thanks for tuning in. Congratulations on your giraffe baby. Happy fourteen months to Paco. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah, we can see here. Like, white wins most of the time. Because from the black side, it's so hard to defend when your king is very open like this. But somehow, yeah, f5, queen g3, f4. So the only move to survive is queen e8. I assume to um, not lose a queen, but most people don't find queen e8. Anyway, um, 
I might wrap things up. I'm kind of hungry. And it's, it's dinner time. So a slightly shorter stream than maybe what I usually do. But do stay tuned for more content coming up.